Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. What lies inside all of us is more than data, it's life. What's flowing through America's veins is its diversity. And it's those very differences that will lead to answers for generations to come. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham. I'm back again with the great folks at the All of Us Research Program at the UAB Division, I like to say. Today, I'm with Dr. Dina Avery. She is the Engagement Core Director. Dr. Avery, how are you today? I'm fine, Jarvis. Thanks so much for having me. I'm looking forward to this interview. Great. And I'm great to bring Dr. Avery on today because the All of Us Research Program has approach a national milestone, I like to call They have 750,000 participants. Now- That's huge. Yes, 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 since the program inception. So before we start, kind of just give people like a quick little bio about yourself. All right, so again, I'm Dr. Dina Avery, been at UAB a number of years. My background is in health disparities research also, I'm known for implementing and setting up biobanking infrastructures for pre precision medicine initiatives. So I've been with UAB Preventive Medicine and also some other areas across campus. I'm known in the community. I do a lot of community, what they call community-based participatory research. Uh -huh. uh, so that's my background in a nutshell. And I'm also over at the VA as executive director for research for the Vistar uh, research program there. So for people that's watching for the first time, what is the All of Us research program and what's UAB's role in? Okay, so All of Us is a precision medicine health initiative. So precision medicine is also known as personalized medicine. And all of us is so significant to all of us because it's going to look at an individual's lifestyle, genetics, also going to look at your environment, and it's going to collect data from you. Um, that's why we ask for, say, a sample, like your blood or your urine sample. And then we ask you a, a um say several questions about your health or what have you, because that's going to help us learn about this individual. And it's also going to show us the risk factors involved, say for a certain set of individuals. That's why we call it precision medicine or personalized medicine. So this project is funded by the National Institutes of Health, and they're seeking 1 million individuals to participate. And here at UAB, we oversee the Southern Network, which consists of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Okay, so when it comes to your role with all of us going in, what do you specifically do? You're so as the engagement core director, my goal is to, like on the weekends, I'm always going somewhere because I'm seeking partnerships. Okay. We need more partnerships to join with UAB for this initiative. Initiative, excuse me. For example, we need sororities, fraternities of all nationalities to get involved because that's going to bring in more people to learn about all of us. We also need more nonprofits and civic organizations. If you have an event, let us know. Contact us. My info is online. We will be there. Even we need uh, more faith-based organizations to get involved. Yeah, I noticed it. Like you, you all been in a lot of different community events, especially I've seen you at church events. And yes. I had went to a sporting event a couple of months ago. If you people, if you saw the interview I did um, in Mobile, um, yeah, so you'll see the the table and just the question <laughs> of like, right. when they woke up and they see all of us. What what is that all about? So what are the steps to participate? Okay, well, you can go online, joinallofus.org, or if you're in Birmingham, you can go to the Kirkland Clinic on second floor. They have a table set up there. 
Also at Cooper Green, you can go to the fourth floor. At UAB Highlands, um, I think it's the first floor near the elevators, you can go there and register. Also, if you don't want to go to one of those sites initially, you can go to the website. They'll send you to your location. Let's say if you're outside of Birmingham, they will let you know where to go. Once you go on site, you will have to um, you know, give your weight, blood pressure, your height and all. And they'll ask you some demographic information. And then you make the decision about your bowel sample. If you want to give a bowel sample, such as your blood or urine, that's fine. If you don't want to give it, that's fine. You may just want to give your data. So those are some ways you can get involved. Okay, so what, in your opinion, what do you feel is needed to get the community to get more people to participate in this? Right. As I mentioned, you know, we need more partnerships. Uh -huh. And uh, like right now, I'm in talks with some people because we got to get them involved. We've even been involved um, with the NAACP. We have some meetings coming up, but we need more people of color and really we need everyone. We even need the LGBT community. Uh, we need everybody because we want to keep increasing our numbers because this is a very important initiative because we're going to learn about our health and we'll be able to streamline some processes and really target um, the specific disease based upon the genomic data that we get from each individual. Now, one of the things I, I've noticed too is like, okay, once you do sign up, because I'm a participant in it, is that they will send you follow-up surveys to, um, is it just don't stop it that day you come and sign up. They send you continuous surveys along yes. the way. Yes, you will get the follow-up surveys. And also, you know, it's your decision if you want to participate. And you can stop participating at any point in the program. So that's totally up to you. Now, and one thing I want to throw out too, since I'm participating in it, uh, well, two things. You get, they give you $25, and then they also give you a free Fitbit. So if you all know about the Fitbit technology, that's a great, um, great little tool, especially if you're just doing just daily exercise or just just walking or running. Yeah, those are some incentives that we do give to participants. So why should someone consider joining all of us? You should consider joining because, as I mentioned, you will give a bio sample and also your health data. Then they will enter all that data and you everything you've done, you're going to get it back. They're going to give you, say, a, a large snapshot of your health. Also, you would be able to see what am I at risk for? And when they get your bio sample, now we know something about your DNA, your genetic data. And genetic counselors will be available to answer questions that you have uh, because now they see how you're living, your lifestyle, and now they have your DNA and they can even give you more information. And one thing I want to add on that as well is that as you all know, everybody that goes, you go for your annual visit. Sometimes annual visit, it just gives you like a small snapshot. Hope I'm telling this right. With the All of Us program, it's giving you an overview of some things that the doctor can't even see because you got all these. I'm amazed at how many actual researchers are actually looking at all this data and also the different type of, um, I guess I want to make this right, genetic factors that they're looking at, like 53 matching or uh, that number 53 just comes in my head of, of something that they're basing your data upon. It's give you a genetic match for it. Right. And that genetic data will let you know what you at risk for. And, you know, we all should be trying, excuse me, trying to live healthy. So it's a reminder also, okay, I need to get checked. I know I'm at risk for this. I need to keep up with it. So, I mean, I tell everybody, you need to consider joining all of us. Okay, one thing I want to go back to earlier, you was mentioning about health disparities, disparities mm -hmm. um, mainly, especially in the minority community. Can you talk a little bit more about that and why that's been such a big issue over the last couple of years or really, I guess, decades? Sure. For example, when you look at various cancers, 
a person of color is at a high risk of mortality. Uh -huh. Now, you look at a white in individual, they may have a higher incident rate, but they don't have that, say, high mortality rate that we as people of color. So that's why health disparities uh, research is so important because the numbers are disproportionate and we need more people of color to participate in various you know, research programs. But we also have to look at history because it impacts our thinking of if we're gonna participate or if we won't participate. So we know um, there have been some prejudices, some discrimination, mm -hmm. but here at UAB, we really want to make a difference. And then if you see something that's not right, let us know because we do want to improve. And one thing as well, like me actually going through the program, I always like, because one of the mm -hmm. things before, um, at the beginning, you know, as you all been watching throughout this whole year is, I didn't want to just talk about this program. I actually want to go through it myself to kind of see that it's very eye-opening that they even tell you about your genetic uh, DNA, what genetic history, where you come from. Mm -hmm. They do, um, yes. You may assume it's like, okay, well, I'm African-American. I come from Africa, but there's different parts of Africa that you're from. Yes. And you and can it, see, you know, the, the different percentages. Yes. And everything. I'm going to go, and now, now that you said about the health disparities, why is diversity, like you keep going back, is important with this and why the African-American community needs to sign up more for it? The reason this program is seeking over 1 million people because we need the diverse populations that represents America. Also this data, which includes the uh, survey data, your genomic data, is going to help researchers target various illnesses. Um, it's going to help their research, advanced research, and it's going to improve the future of medicine. And I think that's very important because when it comes to medicine, it shouldn't, everything shouldn't be like a one size fits all. And that's how it is. See, once we, be, you know, can streamline everything based upon precision medicine, say this group may need, say, a different type of treatment uh, that's different from this other group. Right now, it's to the point where, okay, if you have this, you're going to get two pills. You know, so... We got to do better. Yes, yes. So any final thoughts you would like? I know we, they're approaching like five years, but what would you, what more would you like to see as far as the future of this program? Right. Now, one thing I tell people within the community, the future of medicine begins with you. In regards to all of us, if you have questions, go to the website and read for yourself. Or you can contact me anytime and I can answer those questions. Even feel free to email me on my UAB address. And then if you have various events going on within the community, let us know. If I can't attend, we will have someone there. I, I basically um, attend the weekend events, but we want to be all over the place. If we've got to rent a car and go somewhere, we're on the way. Um, I just helped a group in Louisiana. We're trying to get more people there in Northern Louisiana. So we're all over. We want to help because again, the future of medicine begins with us. Yeah, and I will also say for the new year too, one of my future ideas, I'm about to share it with, um, share it with Wendy, is probably do a live podcast at a community event. That way we can get questions from the community. Yes. After the side of it, bring you on and we can all talk about it. Because um, I feel like the more, like you said, like one thing at the information table I've noticed is that when people come up, it's not just like quick sign up. Like the people who's there at the, at the desk are very knowledgeable and mm -hmm. tell you why you're signing up for it and the purpose. But I'm telling you all, look, think of this like a 23 and me, but more of a sophisticated one that's telling you about your health. Because 23 me just tell you about your family lineage. But this, with all of us, tells you about things looking five, ten years down the road 
and you got a chance to kind of make a what they call it a course correction. Yes. A lot of times in health, when you know when people's health get you know goes for the worse, it's almost too late. Now you get a chance to kind of make some changes. Mm hmm And early detection is key. Yeah. So one of the questions I always like to ask people before we before we end, um, what got you into career medicine? I didn't hear you. The volume went what, out. Can what, you repeat that? What got you into a career in medicine? Okay, so I was one of those students. I love to tell this. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Okay. And Dr. Kirkland um, at UAB gave me a chance. And I was a data entry person. Oh, wow. And he saw something in me and he pushed me. And uh, from there, I, I went and got my master's. He wanted me to advance in clinical trials. I became a clinical trials administrator. I met Dr. Mona Fuad and Dr. Teresa Wynn Wallace. And that's how I got into health disparities research. So I kept growing. I always tell my students, you know, don't get so complacent, complacent and content, you know, keep striving to do better. And so I love being within the community. I love making changes and trying to help those that need help and those that need a voice. So I have the perfect job. Um, I'm helping people. I'm, and then too, I had no idea I would be in the lab one day. So oh, wow. I love setting up bio banks globally and here domestically. So, um, you know, I had no idea what I wanted to do, but God had a perfect plan for me. Well, I think you're doing a wonderful job. I think we Thank need you. more um, more people that look like me and you in that type of profession because, like you said, it has a perspective and then also in a way it builds trust Yes. Um, in the community to be able to even sign up for things like this. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why I make myself available to talk to more people that look like us. Yes. So one day I want to make the challenge to everybody that's going to be watching this. Put this part on one of your New Year's resolutions. Like everybody has New Year's resolutions all the time, lose weight or read more, exercise more. Make a New Year's resolution to join the All of Us program because I trust you that even I wait in the future segments, I'm going to show you my results or some of my results that is truly well worth it. Yes, yes. And I look forward to seeing many of you and contact us. We want to be at your events. Yes. And the number I want to mention that is 833-CALL-UAB. So if you all want to join the All of Us program, it's call 833-JOIN-UAB. Let me change that up. It's 833-JOIN-UAB. But you'll see the text on the, um, on the screen like always. Well, Dr. Avery, thank you for coming on today. Thank you all thank for watching. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Great, great. Please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a great day, everybody. And New Year's resolution. Join the All of Us program, everybody. Bye-bye. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.